Hello, you forgot your PIN and now you can't access Windows. You're trying to reset your PIN, but you don't know your Microsoft account password and you no longer know a way to gain access to your computer. Today I will show you how to create a local account in Windows 11, Windows 10 or Windows 8, log into your Windows with this account and use it to access all your files. Do not worry, look carefully, repeat exactly after me, step by step, and we will succeed. And so, in order to create a local account, we need to open a command prompt, and first I will show you three ways to open a command prompt. Method number one. On your keyboard, Press and hold the shift key, and then click, here, and restart your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, troubleshoot. Click, advanced options. Now press, command prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on the configuration of the operating system, the program may ask for your password before opening the command line. In this case, I suggest opening the command line in a different way. For those with command prompt open, you can skip the second and third methods and go straight to making changes to the registry editor. Method number two. If your system asks for a password to open a command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation USB flash drive to your computer, or you can also use a Windows installation DVD. Usually, using such a bootable USB flash drive or DVD disk, Windows is installed on the computer. Whether your version of Windows is Home or Pro, any edition of Windows will work to reset your password. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows installation menu will open, but we will not install anything, just press, Shift and F10 at the same time. And the command line immediately opened. Sometimes this method does not work, and then you can try to open the command prompt in another way. Method number 3. The first few steps of method 3 are exactly the same as in method 2. We boot the computer from the Windows installation USB flash drive or Windows DVD, and wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install Windows here either, in the menu we will click, repair your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, troubleshoot. Now press, command prompt. Now write on the command prompt regedit, and press, enter. The registry editor opens. Here you need to click once, H key local machine. Click, file. And click, load hive. Here we need to find the local drive on which the Windows operating system is installed. In my registry editor, this drive is marked with the letter, D. On your computer or laptop, the drive with Windows installed may be marked with a completely different letter, it could be the letter C or another letter. At the top we see a disk for storing my files, and it is marked with the letter C. We also see here a bootable USB flash drive, with which we open the command prompt, and another small Windows partition, or rather its small directory for system files. You may also have another large drive connected to your computer, but if you open such a drive, you will immediately see that there is no Windows folder on it. I know the size of my disk with the operating system, I have this local disk designated by the letter D, and I open it. 
In this window, open the Windows folder. Next, locate and open the folder, System32. In this window, open the folder, Config. Here find the file, System, and double-click on it. In this window, you need to specify a name for the created folder, I will name this folder, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can name this folder by any other name, the name of this folder has no meaning for the process. Press, OK. Open the folder, HKEY LOCAL MACHINE. So, we have a folder, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and now we open it. Locate the folder, setup, and click on it. Now find the file on the right, CMD line, and double click on it. In the window that opens, write, CMD EXE, and click, OK. Now find the file, setup tup, and double click on it. In this window, instead of 0, enter the number 2. Click, OK. Then find the folder, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and click on it once. Then click, File, and click, Unload Hive. Click, Yes, and close this folder. Close Command Prompt, and click, Continue Loading Windows. If you use the second method, close the installation menu, click, yes, the computer will automatically restart. The operating system has started loading. The command prompt was opened. First, we will check what accounts are on our computer, and for this we will do the following. Here we will write, net, click, spacebar, user. Click, enter. On my computer, we can only see one default account because I didn't create any other accounts, but you may have another account here. My account name looks different here, because the system shows my Microsoft account name in such an abbreviated form. Actually, my Microsoft account name is in the form of an email address, and this name looks like this. And so, to create a new local account, we will write, net, click, spacebar, user, spacebar, you write your name here, and I will write my name, Malik, too. Spacebar, now you need to enter a password for the new account, I'll write, 12345, spacebar, slash, add. Press, enter. The command completed successfully. Now you need to give the new account administrator rights. To do this, you need to write, net, spacebar, local group, spacebar, administrators, spacebar, you write your name here, and I will write my name, Malik, too. Spacebar, slash, add. Press, enter. The command completed successfully. I hope everything went well for you too. Now, to exit the command prompt, write, exit. Press, enter. The computer opened on the lock screen and here we see the details of my Microsoft account, Tech Malik, for which I forgot the PIN and password. At the bottom left, we see the icon of this account, and the icon of a new, local account, her name, Malik, too. To login, click here, and I enter the login password. Click, here, now the system will create a new local account within one minute. And so, the most important thing we did, we unlocked our computer and finally we got access to all our documents, photos, videos, and all other data. Now we need to decide how to continue using our computer, and to begin with, I will make a small overview of the capabilities of the new account. I open Settings, go to Accounts, 
and here we see that my Windows is under the control of a local account and its name is Malik2. We also see that my account has administrator status. On my desktop we see icons of all the programs, applications, and games that I installed in Windows 11 with a Microsoft account, after creating a local account they all remained in place and I can also use them. Now you can launch all programs from the desktop or taskbar just like you did before. And so, after you have created a new local account and gained access to all your data, you have two options for using the computer. You can try to restore access to your Microsoft account and to do this, contact technical support on the Microsoft website, and while the account recovery process is underway, you can continue to use your computer. To find your photos, videos, and other personal files, to do this, you can do the following. Open Explorer, then this PC, now open the C drive, the users folder. Here we see the folder with the data of the new local account and the Microsoft account folder. I'll open the folder with my Microsoft account details. Here are all the folders with the files of the old Microsoft account, I open the desktop and here we see the folders with my photos, videos, and other files, they are not lost and everything remains unchanged. In the same way, on your computer you will find all your personal files completely safe and completely unchanged. The second option is a little simpler and more convenient in the future use of the computer. You can simply delete your Microsoft account and continue using your new local account. How to remove a blocked Microsoft account. To do this, right-click the Start button and select Terminal with Administrator Rights. In the command prompt, enter command, control, space, user passwords 2. Click Enter. Then select the blocked account, and click, Remove. The system will warn you about deleting your Microsoft account, click Yes, OK. And your Microsoft account will be deleted from your computer. I also have to tell you that after deleting your Microsoft account, all the files on your computer will not be lost and will remain unchanged. This concludes my video tutorial, and I hope what I just said could help you, and if you found it useful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.